I'm John Sullivan. I'm a curatorial affiliate um, at the Cornell University Museum of Vertebrates. I'm an ichthyologist. I study freshwater fishes, specialize in African freshwater fishes. I work on marmirid weekly electric fish and also on catfishes. I didn't know when I started grad school that I'd end up doing fishes. Essentially, I kind of shopped around in my first year in grad school. I found that the, um, the ichthyologists had the best parties and I kind of started hanging out with them and one thing led to another and I, I uh, became part of a, a lab that was that was an ichthyology lab. I study the, the phylogenetics of freshwater fishes, trying to figure out the family tree of these groups. So how these species are interrelated, who's more closely related to whom, um, for the purposes of understanding their evolution, and also to uh, improve our classification system. Freshwater fishes are hugely important in, in Africa. So. I think across the continent about 20% of people's protein comes from fishes. And most of those are, are inland fisheries. And yet uh, very little is known about the freshwater fish fauna of Africa, in particular the uh, Congo Basin. So there's still a, a, a lot to be done. There's no Peterson guide to the fishes of Africa. So I had a Fulbright research scholarship to go to the Democratic Republic of the Congo to inventory the freshwater fishes there. And uh, before I applied for the Rubenstein Fellowship, it just occurred to me that EOL was going to be the perfect place for us to um, put all the photographs and data that we would be collecting on this project. I created two life desks. One I called Congo Fishes, and the other one is the Mormirity life desk. So I've been working with those two life desks. I still have a long way to go, but I'm still plugging away. So, I mean, they're hugely useful to me and also to my colleagues who, who work on these fishes. The reason I was interested in doing it was because I wanted such a thing to exist for myself. So it's a place where type images, images of live fish, also images of their electric discharges. So I, I've recorded the signals and I put those up with the species information. And so I see the two life desks that I'm working on as a means to ensure that my colleagues in Africa you know, have available to them uh, what they need to, you know, to identify fish species. Essentially, having the life desks available makes my collaborations with my African colleagues much more efficient and more fruitful. I think you know, in, in many ways EOL was a good fit for me because photography has always been a big priority. There's a real uh, lack of good good photographs of many of these species, especially in a place like the Congo. I make those things priorities to get recordings of their signals and to get photographs of the fish. I created a uh, project page on Facebook, um, gave my project a name. I think that's kind of important. I call it the Upper Congo Fishes Project. Basically first kind of advertise that to my ichthyology friends and colleagues. And there are a lot of people on Facebook who I don't know but are interested in tropical fish. And word got out that, hey, this guy is posting photographs from the Congo of, of tropical fish. And so it got more and more new followers. So now I think it's, you know, it's over 1,000 people are following my Facebook project page. So that's been a great way to get word out about my Rubenstein Fellowship and about EOL. Sometimes I had sp species that I photographed and I wasn't sure what it was. And I have um, some professional um, ichthyologists following my Facebook page and also some advanced hobbyists who often know more about the species than I did. So um, it can be uh, quite useful. So I uh, wanted a, a logo for my project. And I had a friend uh, from college who was a graphic designer. She helped me out. And we created a logo, which you can see here on, on my coffee mug. I created an online store. That was a very useful way to sort of advertise what I was doing. So I didn't have a lot of people buying my stuff there. I, I, I was my own biggest customer, basically. But, I, uh, but you know, people who worked or who got involved with the project, you know, I'd give them a t-shirt. And so um, that, was a, that was a cherished gift for a lot of my African colleagues. And one nice thing about making a life desk page it's a, a short-term little project that you can just get done. 
So if you need to feel some sort of satisfaction that you've done something today that's concrete, you can you know, show somebody else, you can make a, make a life desk page. This is an excellent example of a, of a broader impact. You're gonna, it's, a, it's a great way to disseminate um, the data that you create in your research.